Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and it's time to review Alien Romulus. Now, I'm a big fan of the Alien franchise. Uh, I have all the movies on DVD and I love them. Um, I know that there's a little bit of division about the, um, the last two movies in the Alien franchise which is basically Prometheus and uh, Alien Covenant but I love those movies. I love the concept of Concept wise and even story wise, I actually like them better than the Alien, uh, the other movies, but uh, I know this is kind of like, this movie is really, really awesome. I, I think most, uh, most Xenomorph fans definitely, most Alien fans will definitely love it. And also if you're, if you aren't even familiar with the, uh, with the Alien franchise, you might still like it for the horror elements of it. bringing the alien um, Xenomorph back into confined spaces of a space station um, makes a lot of sense. You get that same feeling of uh, claustrophobia, that tension and the urgency, you know, with a lot of things uh, being, uh, at, a lot of things being at stake. Excuse me, I have to drink my salad. <laughs> and yeah. This movie is really enjoyable and a welcome addition to the franchise. Uh, came out this year, 2024, directed by Fede Alvarez. I think that's how he pronounced his first name. Fede or Fidi, I don't know. Uh, anyway, and also co-produced by Ridley Scott. Uh, the movie stars um, Kaylee Spaney, 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 Kaylee Spaney, I'm going to say Spaney for now. David Johnson, with the Swedish, uh, the Scandinavian pronunciation of Johnson, uh, spelling of Johnson. Archie Renault, Isabel Merced, Spike Fern, and a Eileen Boo. Um, they're basically these young space colonists on a Valen Yutani uh, planet. Uh, things are not really that great over there. They're working in the mines. Um, it's life is very difficult. Um, Rain is our central character. She's got her adoptive brother Andy, who is a malfunctioning android, found by her father in the in the garbage and he reprogrammed them. He's basically got the, um, like he's basically almost a young boy, <laughs> uh, to be honest, and he's got that, <clears throat> you know, like he tells um, kind of silly dad jokes kind of things, which only he finds um, funny. Uh, also, uh, the others are her Rain's ex-boyfriend, Tyler, his pregnant sister, Kay, uh, their cousin, Bjorn, and Bjorn's adopted sister, Navarro. So, the six of them are trying to get off the planet. They commandeer this hollow called the Corbin uh, 4 and they go to Renaissance. Now, Renaissance is a Valen Yutani station split into the modules Romulus and Remus, and so all the action happens on Romulus, <coughs> which is why the title is Alien Romulus. Basically, they want to steal cryostasis equipment to survive the multi year uh, journey to, I, <coughs> I think this is called Iga or Iga 3, which is a much more suitable planet for humans to live on. It's much more idyllic, uh, more pleasant over there, and it's not connected with Valen Yutani. So, unfortunately for them, when they go to steal there, they find out that uh, from the wreckage of the Nostromo, the Valen Yutani probe had basically captured this cocoon, a uh, very large cocoon. Basically, it's the alien that gets blown out of, into space at the end of Alien, and so that's you know, kind of like cocooned inside and they take it, they try to experiment with it and they got a lot of face huggers in the, um, in the space station and all hell bro broke loose, everybody was killed. The only survivor who is, who needs to be plugged into the, um, to the console of the, uh, of Romulus is um, an android basically just like Ash and um, yeah, so they did a digital inclusion of uh, the late Ian Holm another actor but they you know morphed his voice and all that stuff and deep fake basically it works at times and it doesn't work at times uh, at certain times it looks like um, kind of like very bad AI or CGI but at times it did look creepily like uh, Ian Holm so yeah so when they go there and they go to get the um, <laughs> they they basically get this chip to put into uh, Andy and uh, from that uh, young boy kind of like you know like a young kid kind of persona he changes into a more confident one because he's got uh, Wayland Yutani's programming in it and um, he is able to access a lot of things but when they access the 
the chamber that has got the um, cryostasis fuel. Unfortunately, it also re it also heats up the room and it basically lets the face huggers out. So yeah, now we've got problem. Navarro is the first one to get, um, you know, a face hugger in the face. Um, Eno basically tells them what happened. I mean, sorry, uh, Rook, the android, tells them what happened. Unfortunately, she's the first. Navarro is killed. Face hugger comes out. And one criticism I'm going to say of this movie is that the face huggers, uh, sorry, the aliens seem to have very little. Um, what do you call it? Gestation period. It's like almost within a couple of minutes, few minutes, they come out. And of course, they had to run, they had to find it, so people started. Some of these scenes, of the you know, the escaping scenes, the movie is beautiful to watch, by the way. And uh, seeing a bunch of these aliens coming out to, uh, you know, to get at these people, um, there's all this, apparently there's some more aliens uh, lying, uh, lying in dormant stages elsewhere. You see a lot of people, are, uh, you know, like just like in Aliens too, when you see, sorry, in Aliens, when you see a lot of them, then you know, being stuck onto the walls, uh, basically just standing for, uh, you know, <laughs> with the things inside them. All that is done really well. Um, the scene where the gravity come on, and this is completely spoilers, okay? Scene where they have to switch off the gravity so that the acid doesn't fall onto the onto the floor of the final deck and therefore you know then it's basically it's going to leak out and then it's uh, you know it's in the vacuum of space so all that is done really really well um, one by one all of them get killed um, Bjorn's death is really really terrible um, and finally just the three of them um, Navar, I'm uh, sorry, um, the uh, sister, I forgot her name. We'll just have a quick check. Well, that's Bjorn's adopted sister, but her name escapes me at the moment. I think her name is Kay. Yeah, okay. And uh, she is captured by this uh, by this alien, and uh, Andy has to let her um, get captured just because he needs to save the other two humans. And um, when they do take the chip out of him, he reverts back to his, you know, like almost I wouldn't say scared, but yeah, very innocent kind of young boy in it basically. Um, yeah, so she uh, she is like we said she's actually pregnant, but she does get captured, and um, pretty soon uh, it puts something into her. Now that is the going to be the weirdest part of this movie, which I'm still not sure if I really like the fact about what happens at, at that particular point, like towards the like you think the movie is over, but then they ha there is a second ending. So uh, anyway. Um, Xenomorphs bursting out of the uh, people, fighting them, all those things. Um, towards the end, it is Navarro fighting against one of the alien aliens, and that's those scenes are you know pretty awesome. However, um, as the the three of them, that is uh, Andy, uh, Rain, and Kay, are preparing for the trip to Ega Three. Uh, Kay is the first one to put be put into the uh, cryostasis um, rain plugs in uh, Andy to recover from his from the from the kind of injuries that he's had fighting against the alien races uh, against the alien and um, when she goes back to check on K before she goes into the cryostasis she finds that uh, K is you know struggling she gives birth to this human xenomorph hybrid where initially it's this cocoon kind of thing that comes out of her like a natural birth and then um, she tries to throw it out but it drops um, and acid leaks it goes into this cargo hold and when she goes after it with it, that's why I said this the criticism for this movie is the immediate gestation and out comes this huge seven foot something creature that's basically looking like part human 
part the engineer from the uh, previous movies and part the body of a uh, of a xenomorph and it looks I, I, I don't know that's like I said I, I don't know if I actually liked it a lot uh, it looks ridiculous at the same time scary and otherworldly and then it kills uh, K and it's uh, the, this final scene between uh, and, you know, it incapacitates uh, uh, basically um, Andy but finally it's up to our uh, the heroine for the day uh, for the movie Rain to basically uh, kill kill him off that's all those scenes are beautiful to watch to be honest except for the creature and that's the end of the movie both of them go now it's just the two of them they leave uh, to go on the way to the new planet um, one thing to mention the creature that offspring that you can call it that's what they call it in the movie is portrayed by Romanian former basketball player Robert Bobrovsky he is 7 feet 7 inches tall <laughs> he's a 24 year old um, athlete yeah so this ends the movie like I said uh, it's not spoiler free there's a lot of spoilers in the movie but then I think it's already been available for a while on at least for a couple of weeks on uh, streaming services so yeah it is what it is did I like the movie yes like I said I like the movie quite a lot I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 I think performance were pretty good I like the fact that it's back on this kind of space station space ship kind of situation because it's you know got that really claustrophobic claustrophobic feel to it a couple of things I didn't like about it so I'm giving it an 8 and not a 9 or something like that but yeah it's pretty pretty fun to watch Thank you. Good night.